it's almost getting to the point where it's it's maybe beyond the, the scope of, of, of human operators. And, I, and I, I get it in the sense that a lot of this data is being synthesized and, and automated, but at some point you have to have a human in the loop. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest questions that we're all facing in the industry today. And I was actually talking to a, a major peer of ours. It's one thing to be able to produce information and get them into you know certain people's hands. It's actually, how do you actually provide the information and, and deal with that kind of that last mile we call of decision-making? There has to be a human element when it comes to certain types of decision making, especially when you're talking about defense and intel. But now that we can produce it a little faster, we can actually put it into the hands of the decision maker who can actually you know, do something a little bit faster. We are still challenged with um, technology moving a little bit faster than sometimes our, our processes and policies. This is that constant balance between being a commercial provider and supplying to the, the government. Sure.